this time I fuck around a lot with the oil i like to uh push down the prices and see what happens yeah that's what i'm doing right now i'm getting expunged so i can start fucking with that uh -huh. i think uh getting into the oil market as a private person if what you're gonna be a supplier uh, i don't know yet i'm not i'm not too sure exactly how it all works to be honest I think the supply market is really diluted. There's, there's not that many buyers. So it's a market where generally uh, in markets, supplier will, will control the market. But in this market, the buyers control the market. And that's okay. a bit, it's not really good insurance for uh, for the uh, people that are producing the oil. Right. Because mm -hmm. if there's only four gas stations in the city, there's only four buyers. And let's, yeah. say, there's a, let's say there's 100 people that produce oil. Right. Not all of those people will have somebody to sell to. Okay. That's true. So, like, um, do, so do you think it's not lucrative enough for, like, it's not worth it? Oh, yeah, it becomes an issue. And I mean, you, you know how we were talking about the other day about how we have, like, an umbrella as Cerberus? Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a very good example how that's efficient with, with gas, for example, because um, if I wanted to with, with Auto's gas station, right. I could I could charge people, let's say, $3 a gallon, and I could afford, it's the Amazon strategy, I could afford running at a loss for two, three months mm -hmm. because I have other companies to back up my loss margins, which obviously then in return would cost a lot of people to go to the auto gas station, which it's in so return smart. would cost them to go there for repairs uh, subconsciously, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And other, other gas stations wouldn't get any clientele, and I would be running at a complete loss at $3, but nobody else could afford to match my price. And generally you know outside of the city that would be illegal but there's no le legislation against it in the city so i'm going to keep doing it until there is oh but it's a good example of why an umbrella um type structure for your company is really efficient because the only reason i can afford to do that is because i have other companies that are kind of pushing up money to to cover for for what the auto gas station would be losing mm -hmm. that's true uh, I'm, I'm, I, it was just an example. I'm not selling for three. We're selling for like 8.5 or something. So it's, it's not that bad. But I, I could if I wanted to. I could do that. Mm -hmm. Fuck, man. I'm kind of scared now. <laughs> Why? I mean, I'm, I'm trying to jump into the market. I'm trying to see like... Uh, I, gotta, I guess I got to figure out buyers for it now. Yeah, so what I did is I just signed exclusive contracts with people and told them You're, you can only sell to me. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and the reason why, cause you know, at first glance that might be like, oh, wait, why would anybody accept that? But since it is a bias market, I'm giving them a guarantee that they will always have a buyer, which is not guaranteed otherwise. True. Uh, so I hold all kind of the, the cards. Normally that wouldn't be the case, but here it is. And, uh, I mean, here's the thing, like when I pay people, it's the same with materials and stuff like that. I always try to pay the supplier a reasonable wage and then right. I, I instead downcharge the customer um, because if you don't pay people a fair price for the work that they do you end up with a city when nobody wants to you know produce materials or pump gas and you need these things in the city and if your if your goal is always to make as much money and profit possible from all these things, then nobody's going to do it at the end of the day. And then you have nobody, nobody, right. you know, getting mats into the city. There's nobody pumping up oil in the city. There's none of that. And I, uh. I don't think you should get into gas if if you're trying to do it to make a lot of money. You should instead do it if you um, if you want to check it out and see how it is. And probably like you probably make a little bit of money, but I, I don't think realistically you're going to become a millionaire. On it. Mm -hmm. Did your head pop, Dean? No. Oh, no. I'll go to the casino. Yes, I think her? Dean, Dean, yeah. All right. Uh, okay, all right. Yeah, I got it. I'll be there. All right, let's drive back to autos and leave this car. I'll give you guys a ride back to the block, and then all I right. got to meet up with Dean. We're going to go to some meeting. Okay, no worries. But hey, guys, listen. Since we do some type of partnership, probably, if you guys have any questions regarding business or markets, talk to me mm -hmm. about it, because I can help you out with, with not making these mistakes. Come on, I appreciate you, Leslie. Oh, now my head's open. Oh, I should keep up. I will drive back. Oh, yeah, that was... Yeah, so uh, anything like that, I usually have a pretty good idea of it. So if there's any anything regarding markets or money or structure and stuff like that, just talk to me and I can help you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah man, I appreciate you. I can't wait till we have our next meeting. 
Yeah, so well, yeah. What, do you, what do you guys think? Because I, 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 I'm sure it's difficult for you guys with so many people to uh, share a like, big, big yeah. plot like that. I think, yeah, I think, I think that's what it would most Yeah, of, you know? I, I think it's going to be more of a... It's going to be a selective few within us that's going to be part of... That's going to do it. Yeah, because but, I, I don't know how you guys have your relationship with each other, but I don't right. see why it has to be a thing where, oh, if you're part of the Mandem gang, you have to be part of the investment thing. Couldn't that be a venture that you guys do, a couple of you guys on the side? Right. Yeah, we, we could, but uh, once again, we still got to talk to the rest of the boys, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want nobody's butt to be hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Hey, who are you waiting for? I'm waiting for Benny. Yeah, so it might. I think it's delayed. I think it's delayed, but I gotta figure out how to fix that. Hmm. Get yeah, his number, Dean. I already have Leslie's number. I have Leslie's number for like day three. Yeah, so this camera has to go on a streaming PC. It has to. That, this camera has to um, But yeah, so I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I think for us, it's a, it was a lot easier to do what we did because uh, right. we started out with individual businesses. And then when we had so much money mm -hmm. that we didn't care about money anymore, that's right. when we chose to consolidate. Yeah, that so that's what easier. I was saying. So, so we said have like a, a, a primary business first, start off, you know, get a foundation. And then get into the umbrella, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I could do that. Bro. For us, it's more of like, it's easier for us to invest into an umbrella than to target specific businesses, especially right. when it comes to helping out. Uh, but I mean, we could probably make anything work, to be honest. It's just um, to make it easier for everyone. Okay. Uh, it's also, it's also, I mean, the solution that we do, it's a lot easier until it isn't. Like, it's it's a lot easier until somebody has an issue with it. In In our... You know, example, nobody's having an issue with it. And we've done this for, what, eight months? Yeah. I mean, Sherbrooke's has been a thing for a year, but we've done consolidated business structure for, okay, maybe six months. And then it's never been uh, even talks about, you know, money or anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so the way we do it, too, because we forgot to mention this, but the way we do it, too, when it comes to, because I'm sure you guys have questions about, like, okay, well, if the company owns all these assets, then how do you sh like? Because I own 100% of PDM, and Lang right. owns 100% of, of Roosters, mm -hmm. but but Sharbers instead now owns 100% of, of of Roosters. But since 100% of that is technically Lang's money, uh, how do you make sure that he gets the same money that he was getting previously? The way we do it at Sharbers is we had a meeting where we all agreed on our paychecks. Mm -hmm. So uh, we all get paid a certain amount every month. It's not a lot of money, but we all get paid a certain amount er er every month. And we have an accountant that sends out all the payments for the businesses. So we don't touch any payments ever. Mm -hmm. um, so at the end of the month, we have an accountant that does books for, for, our, for our company, like literal books where he shows us, you know, how much profit the, the businesses are making. I can show you one of the books one time if you, if you remind me. Um, and then we have a set payment uh, for everyone, and everybody pretty much has the same payment. And oh. it makes me, it makes it a lot easier for us. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. This, I feel like we're, we're, we're going to get to work a lot. We're going to get to work a lot with each other, Leslie. I have a really great idea. I want to run by all three of you guys. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Um, yeah, I just got, I just got to, yeah, we just, I just wait for, you know, Tommy to be, you know, I don't want to overstep, you know? All right. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right, brother. Right. Yeah, man. Take care, my man. I appreciate you, Leslie. Yeah, no problem. Uh, uh, you need these uh -huh. uh, yeah. 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 New phone. Who this? I'm back now. Truth is, we all know I do this. We all up the mood is. I'm on it. We all it. Told my ex, leave me alone. Left my phone at the crib. I don't think I'll be home. I don't know where I'm